Today we're going to talk about upgrading from the old style RVS-500 to the new style RVS-501N. A couple of changes. Uh, the connectors are all screw-on connectors. Um, there's actually uh, three inputs and three mirror normal switches and the monitor extension cable is a 13 pin as opposed to a 5 pin mini DIN. Okay. When ordering the new multiplexer it will come with the following items. It will come with a, with a camera adapter, a monitor adapter, and the new power harness. And I'm going to walk you through right now the three changes that have to be taken in order to get the new multiplexer to work. First change is going to be on the monitor side. So simply, you would take the multiplexer, you would take the new adapter, which is 13 pin on one side and 5 pin mini DIN on the other. You will match the arrow to the arrow and connect it to the new multiplexer. And then you would simply take the old style monitor cable, which is a 5 pin mini DIN, and match the arrow to arrow and simply plug it in okay and now on the camera side we're going to take the old style camera cable which is again a 5 pin mini DIN you'll take the new camera adapter again match the arrow to arrow and then you will take the 5 pin screw on connector plug it into port number 3 which is labeled backup and you want to push it in all the way and then you want to make sure it's really tight and then screw it on really tight. Last thing we're going to do for the upgrade is the power harness. The old style power harness was a three, that was a four prong with three cables coming out. You had a power, you had a blue trigger wire and a ground. The new style has, is a, is a six prong and it has five cables coming out. We have the red for your 12 volt positive. We have your black wire for the ground. We have your blue trigger wire, which triggers port number three on the multiplexer. And then we have your yellow cable, which activates port number two, and the white, which activates port number one. If you're using only one camera, simply tie away the yellow and white trigger wires as you will not be needing them and simply take the, again, put the uh, red positive to anywhere you have 12 volt source, put the black to your ground, and then the blue trigger wire will go to your reverse fuse line if you want the camera to automatically turn on when you go in reverse. If, you, if the operator um, wants this, the camera to turn on when ignition goes on, simply tie the blue and red together twist tie them and then put them to uh, anywhere you have ignition power source and that's it and simply take the power harness plug it into the supplied power adapter area just simply plug it in and you're good to go and that is our upgrade